What's up guys, it's DudeOfline514 here, bringing you the DPMS Panther Arms video. Alright, so you can pick this up at Big Five for 110 bucks. where I got it. Um, it did not come in this color, as you can see tan, black tan, it came full black, I just painted it tan, and tan here. Uh, did not come with the grip either, I bought it as well. Um, iron sights here, and here flip up iron sights, and you could turn this to a dust, or turn this up to right, and then up here, uh, it uh, changes the little circle in the su inside. Um, I'm trying to do pretty, go pretty quick. Uh, it has a crane stock here. Pull that standard thing. You it has like four positions. I'm not gonna demonstrate that. on my phone. Um, safety. Uh, semi, full. Um, got some trademarks. Don't really care. Um, mag release right there. And then you pull up here. That comes down for the hop up. Put up. Very good. Um, comes with a high cap 250 round mag. It is full metal. Came, it comes with black by spray printed it. No mag wobble at all. It doesn't drop down. You have to pull it out. So it's good. Uh, metal sling mounts. Oh, and besides the metal sling mounts, the mag and the back sight are the only metal things on this gun. Except for the inner rail, but that's it. Everything else is plastic, plastic, and plastic. Uh, on the box, it says that it's uh, 343 FPS with point twelves and 270 FPS with .20s. So, I don't know if that's accurate for the point .20s, but uh, we'll see. Um, it does come with an orange tip. Uh, as you can see, it's a little broken because I made my own silencer out of PVC pipe and I put a uh, black thumber stick around it and uh, what I did is just get a PVC pipe and made it the width, the, the length that I wanted it to and then I had to trim the thickness inside and it just goes on well and then it just looks cool but uh, yeah I just want to do that makes it cool and since I broke the orange strip already I wanted to do something else. Um, that 250 mag is really good because it's metal. I also bought a uh, a 330 round high cap mag, but it's plastic. It's called a thermal mag. It's D boys. Like that. It looks really cool. I might spray paint a tan to make it look cooler. Uh, has rails everywhere. Here, 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 in the bottom and the top of that. I just showed you. Um, it's a very good gun. It comes with, where is it, 7.2 uh, volt battery, or not, butterfly type battery. And the way you do it is most, like, most M4, or not. You actually you put it in the stock, you push it down like that, I know I just fell. And then, uh, you just, you know, normal thing. Do that, push that in, and then you put that in the sides, you get the the butt, and you put it back in, and I'll shoot it real quick. Pretty good gun. I, it says on the box, uh, 60 yards. The max range is 60 yards. I don't know how many feet 60 yards is, but I know there's 3 feet in 1 yard. So you can calculate that yourself, but I'm not going to. Uh, but it, it shoots very far. Uh, I went to my friend's house there, airsoft was there with this gun, and uh, this front side yard is as big as a soccer field, and it went, this gun went half of that range. So this thing is pretty good. Definitely best, really pretty good for a CQB. But uh, don't spend more than I did for this gun. Like, I bought a $10 grip and a $10 mag. And that's it. That's all I bought. And I also bought a scope. I already had it before. But don't spend too much money because it's a plastic gear box and it might bust on you. So don't spend... Don't go buying, like, an actual silencer, uh, one of those $40 grips, uh, 
like 20 mags for it, don't do that because if it breaks, what are you going to do with it if you don't have another M4? But uh, this is a great beginner's weapon and a novice, I guess you could say. Uh, like I said, pick this up at uh, Big Five for 110 bucks or wait for their sale, probably like more like 100 and $10 off of. Uh, thanks guys, this has been Judo Punch 514's uh, Airsoft Review. Thank you.